Uh, welcome back to one of the first tutorials I've done in a while. In this video, we're going to show you how to do a double opt-in system. Now, if you're anything like me, you have a bunch of traffic going to some landing pages, and what you're doing is you're offering something in exchange of value. For example, I have a, a standard operating procedure document that I uh, give out for free to anybody that hits uh, my growthable.io website. Problem is, is that you get a bunch of spammy email addresses and uh, it's super annoying, right? So to create a double opt-in system in high level, um, that's exactly what we're gonna do today. So let's do it, right? So first up, right? And I'm gonna do this live in front of you. First thing we wanna do is we wanna create a quick site, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new website. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a funnel do a new funnel because this will take about two seconds, right? And I'm just going to do um, so subscription, right? Subscription confirmation. I'm going to create that funnel. Awesome. I'm going to add a new step. The new step is going to be called the same thing. Subscription. Batch confirmation. I'm going to create a funnel step. And then we're going to go create from blank. And then I'm just going to do a full width row headline. And we're going to go first underscore name. Thanks for confirming your subscription. Your email, I should say. That's all I am going to put here, right? The rest of it, don't care. Update meta, do not care. Let's just get rid of that. I'm going to update the metadata. Save. So you've got your landing page, which is going to be your link. I'm going to give it a better published URL by mapping a domain. Let's just do that. So from a publishing point of view, subscription confirmation, great. We're going to check the settings and the domain. Why not put it on the checkout one, right? Checkout, blah, 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 subscription confirmation. Yeah, great. And so then if we were to test would we see yeah thanks for confirming cool that's under a preview publishing let's update that now let's have a look cool happy with that don't need to do any of that and then essentially this um, to domain, once it's mapped, need to save it. Let me just get it to the chat widget, save. Great, let's do the chat widget back. Now we should be able to do a preview, which is actually a checkout, blah, 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 confirmation. Awesome, love that. So if this is triggered off a workflow, then the values of the contact will exist. So that's good. Then we're gonna go marketing, we're gonna go trigger links, we're gonna create a new trigger link, we're gonna add a new link, we're gonna say subscription confirmation, like that, we're gonna put that link in. And then of course, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, cool, well, I've got this thing called a free giveaway, right? I think it's a free download. Uh, let's create it from scratch, because it's not there. Let's do that from scratch. And I've got that set up as an API, so I'm going to say free download. Uh, I'm going to go double opt-in, right? Oh, well, we're going to save that. We're going to go to the settings. We're going to say this is um, subscriptions at. Whoop. Subscriptions, right? And this is going to be. Subscriptions at uh, mg 
Christmas I O. If the keyboard's really loud, I apologize, by the way. Um, but I'm refusing to change it because I don't care. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tag. The tag is going to be the free download. I get that from the API if they do what they do. And then I'm going to send an email. And I'm going to say, this one's going to be blank, blank, subject. Please confirm your email address. With growthable, right? In their first name. Comma. Great. Then I'm going to go, hi. Please confirm your email address with us by clicking this link, right? That's all I need to do. And then we go links. We're going to go link list. We're going to say subscription confirmation, save. That's it. That's it. That's it. Save. Then we're going to do a wait and we're going to do a wait for a trigger link clicked. We're going to do a wait for a subscription confirmation. And when we get that, we're going to get, I'm not going to put a timeout on it. And then I'm going to get a tag and it's going to be double opt in, right? So basically anyone with the tag double opt in has confirmed their email address. And so that can become the basis in which I send the free thing to them. And I know that that's a confirmed email address. That's it for this lesson. Uh, enjoy doing double opt-ins. We'll see you next time.